First, I want to focus on the physical appearance of the meter. It's very lightweight, just 2.2 kilos, ultra compact, with an autonomy of more than four and a half hours running on batteries, and featuring a seven inches, 16 ninth aspect ratio touchscreen, which you will see in action soon enough. Regarding inputs and outputs, we find in the upper side the RF input, through which we will analyze any analog or digital terrestrial satellite or cable TV signal, and FM analog radio, and DAB, DAB plus digital radio, if you purchase that option. By its side, you can see the FO input, fiber optic input, and two other RF interfaces that come along with the fiber optic option, and which we will explain in detail in a chapter devoted to this. On the left side, we find the IPTV input, used to analyze multicast IPTV streams. A transport stream input, you can input any transport stream into the meter and analyze it with the built-in transport stream analyzer. A transport stream output, you can output the transport stream after the modulation of any tuned terrestrial, satellite or cable TV digital RF signal or even output the transport stream after IP de-encapsulation, if the signal is received via IP. A mini USB interface, used to connect the meter to the PC for exchange of resources, or used to plug a pen drive with the little cable that comes along with the meter, in case you are in need to quickly save a data logger or picture for printing in the office. An HDMI output, to output the picture on the screen in HDMI format, video audio output for the same purpose, and video audio input to watch the video content that you input on the screen. Finally, on the back of the meter, we find the cam slot. This will allow you to insert a cam module along with the corresponding subscriber's card in order to de-encrypt scrambled services. This cam slot is common interface compatible.